But before getting to Mars, getting to your summer vacation spot would be nice. Long lines due to the TSA problem still causing outrage at airports nationwide. But private jet firm Wheels Up says it's here to help. CEO and founder Kenny Dichter flying into the studio says flying private not as expensive as you think. The way he does it, he's going to explain how next on Countdown. Growing wait times at airports around the country, it's all putting together a massive headache and a lot of worrying while traveling. Uh, the hope is now coming from my next guest, who has well before this started to offer a remedy for that headache, started a company called Wheels Up. This is a membership-based private aviation company. And before you start to glaze over and say it's not for me, I can't afford private jet travel, it enables its users to skip the nightmare of TSA lines, but also reduce the cost of flying privately. Wheels Up founder and CEO Kenny Dichter joining us live in a Fox Business exclusive. You know, I wanted you on to talk about TSA. We had this situation in Newark. We can show that video again because it, I looked at it and I thought, again, this is so serious right now. What do you think of all that's been going on? I think it's a crazy world we live in. I think that anything is possible. I think the TSA lines in a lot of cases are warranted. And uh, if you're a business person or you're somebody that needs to be from A to B to C, you can't really rely on the commercial system anymore to be able to do that in a day, which is why Wheels Up, I think, is really powerful uh, as a model. You know, you, you wanted it to be a, sort of the Costco. That may be understating it or simplifying okay. it. But the Costco of private jet travel. I would say the Sell me on that. The Costco, I would say for you, the Amazon Prime, okay. or a subscription model for $17,500, which is reasonable uh, in our business. You can become a member. The annual dues are 8500 bucks, And then for $39.50 per hour, we have the flying SUV of the sky, the King Air 350i, the most manufactured plane of all time, 7,800 manufactured, 6,700 of them still flying. It's a Textron Aviation product. Is that a Beechcraft? It's Beechcraft. Okay. They were purchased by Scott and Scott over at uh, Textron, and it's all part of Textron Aviation today. So tell me what kind of calls you're getting from people. Uh, you, you mentioned business travelers. Yes. Uh, tell me about what the businessman or woman is saying to you at this point. It, it, time is money, obviously. Time is money, and TSA is TSA, and I would say that they're doing a great job, and it's a tough, tough job. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a few hours before the flight and a couple hours after to get yourself in and out. We specialize on flights that are less than two hours. 80% of flights on a private uh, platform are less than two hours in North America. The King Air is the perfect way to get you from A to B to C if you want to conduct your business and you want to get home for dinner. And then there are the, the empty seats on certain flights yeah. that people can scroll in an app so yep. they can really bargain hunt. See, you couldn't bargain hunt with private jet travel before, yeah, Listen, correct? We're, we're taking private travel from the 1% to the 10 or 15 percent of people that are moving and shaking in the country today. The hot flights that you're describing is every fleet uh, that operates like we do has byproduct. The byproduct is the positioning of the empty legs. We give those back to our members. For $295, you can have the whole airplane empty, uh, and you'll be able to check that out on the app every day. It's great for engagement, but more important, it's great for our business, and it's great for retention. 295 bucks. But again, you're paying a 17 grand membership fee. We want to stress that. Correct. But that's a one-time, yep. 8500 to renew. Mm -hmm. If you catch one or two of these hot flights a year, you paid for your membership many times over. Kenny, tell me um, all of what we've seen here. Venezuela, for example. I know you guys haven't flown to Venezuela, but the commercial guys just aren't doing it anymore. Yeah. This is a problematic nation right now, mm -hmm. but surely there are business people who want to get their assets out. They need to take that trip. Mm -hmm. Are you looking at something like that? Well, we're, we're looking at a lot of different uh, areas, uh, whether we build it ourselves or whether we franchise it out. We think Western Europe is perfect for wheels up. The geography, if you take all of Western Europe, you could put it east of the Mississippi. The King Air can take you from Oslo all the way down to the south of France. Venezuela and that upper South America is a perfect spot. The King Air has been operating there for decades. And it's something, if we find the right entrepreneur, the right partner, we could be in business wheels up South America tomorrow. And I, I need to let our viewers know one thing. This is your second private jet company you started. Your first one got to a $4 billion market cap. You sold it to Warren Buffett and NetJets. Now this one, uh, the economy, just quickly on this. How do you see the economy from where you sit as mm -hmm. a business person? I think it's a, uh, the U.S. economy right here is in a, I would say first gear. You know, I'm expecting slow growth. I think that, you know, you see China slowing down, which affects all the commodities and the oils and everything else like that. 
But I'm very bullish America. I got to say that we sold our business to Warren Buffett. Warren always believes that America is going to be better five years, 10 years, 20 years from now. I'm from the same school. I think that America is a great country. I think we have our ebbs and flows here. But I would say 5, 10, 15, 20 years out, America is going to be worth a lot more than it is today. So I see it in my business every day. We're, we're a country of optimists. And uh, optimism uh, is many times a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, I agree. And you started your business during a recession. And look how well you've done. Kenny, come back again. Thank I you. I appreciate it. Liz. Kenny Dichter, a friend of this program. We appreciate it.